Hey everybody, this is Alpha Captain Ramius, and we're here looking at a Serpentis mainframe. Now, I was just out doing my dailies when I bumped into this particular data site. I was just scanning cosmic signals for the dailies so I can work towards getting my extra 10,000 skill points every day. And uh, I bumped into this data site and I happened to be in my Imacus because I was out doing some scanning. I've got my beginner's data scanner and I'm pulling up to this data site that I found. I warped in at 100 to see what was going on, looked like it was clear. Then I warped back to my safe spot and then warped back to zero so I could, I could work the data site, do some hacking. This is kind of my modus operandi everywhere. My viewpoint is, trust anybody. And in EVE, I trust absolutely nobody. I mean, I trust myself to a certain degree. But if I were carrying a gun and I had a ship, I wouldn't even trust myself. But here we are. We're at the data site. We're going to do some hacking. Now, I've watched hacking videos and I've done hacking over the years. And, uh... I just take a look at the numbers that show up on the display as I click on nodes. I mean, if it says five and I'm five away, I finally know where it says four or three or two or one, I go towards those. Some people are going to tell you about the rule of eights. There's eight nodes around it, it can't possibly be anything interesting. And that may be true, maybe it's not. I don't know. I just look at the numbers. When the hack works, the hack works. When the hack doesn't, you know, maybe it goes boom. I'm sure if I were in NullSec doing this and the hack didn't work, it might go boom and I might lose my little Limicus. But I don't spend a lot of time in NullSec. I prefer positive numbers, if ever possible. And so I'm just doing my thing, doing my hackeroon here. Seeing what's what. You get your hands on a Zoigma or an integrated data analyzer that's got both the data and relic analyzer built in that would free up a slot mid slot so you could put in a cargo scanner and then you could scan some of these things to figure out what's going on that that's mainly what you're going to do for relics so you don't waste your time trying to hack into containers that might not have anything in them but this i was just doing my thing i need my hacking skills looking for small numbers and you know every once in a while you, you bump into something and maybe it works maybe it doesn't when it works you can open the container and here we got some pretty interesting stuff there's like nine mil in that container which is not bad when you're out tooling around doing data sites. I think the total take on this whole site was, you know, pretty close to 10 mil, as you're gonna see once I finish this container. But hey, if you like this content and you wanna see more of it, be sure to leave a, leave a like, subscribe, and a share. I love the subscribers. I love the, the feedback you guys give me in the comments. If you see something I'm doing that's not right or I can do it better, be sure to let me know. There's a link down below, a referral link, where you can get a million free skill points. Now, I get a little kickback, it's worth almost nothing. You get the million free skill points, and that's the main thing, man. It's not what I get, it's what you get. You gotta look out for yourself. But here we are, this is the final container for this site. And I'm just uh, tooling around, doing my thing. Looking for small numbers. Now, if I, if I see a, you know, a virus that might stop me, I might go in a different direction if I can. And if I can, well, then I'm going to work on the virus. Now, if you see those little tools in the toolbar, uh, you can use one of those tool icons to heal yourself, to give yourself, you know, greater resilience. So you can attack more viruses and, you know, you just do what works. You're looking for the core. 
That's what every good virus is out there doing. They're looking for the core. They're playing this mini game. Well, probably not, but you know. And that hit, and that failed. Well, when it fails, okay, well, it didn't blow up. So I'm just gonna try it again. Again, looking for smaller numbers. Well, there's a tool. I'll take that, right on. And that looks like a defense. So we're gonna get it out of the way. I got a tool. Again, looking for small numbers. There's another tool. It's kind of interesting, but with the Zoigma, which is worth a couple hundred million, um, and there's the system bar right there. There's only one tool slot in the Zoigma, but in the Chibo, the old Chibo one, you can get off the market. There's slots for more than one tool. So there you go. 10.5 million that I pulled off from one data site, which is not a bad take in high sec, where there's going to be a whole lot less risk. I mean, sure, you might get ganked, but you know, if you're if you're in a high sec system, you're conquered out there to to go after the people that gank you. That's not always going to be a deterrent, but hey. We're going to go out there and look for the next data site. In the meantime, like I said, love to have your comments. And keep flying, and we'll catch you later.